What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up your S9 or S9 Plus because it is basically the same thing. Uh, if you have not seen my unboxing video, please make sure to check it out. Uh, I show you guys what's in the box, what color I got, uh, and then just some other stuff what you get in the, in the box, like the headphones and stuff. So right now as you guys can see, I still have this little protective thing or like... That felt good, but like this little back screen protector, and then I just got this little tag right here that show you how to put your SIM and micro SD card, and then always I always get this, I always get these little stickers on Samsung phones, and I don't know what the heck they're for. Maybe just a identification number. Peel those out, cause I don't need it. So. Let's start this bad boy up. I have not touched a uh, Samsung phone since the Galaxy S7 Edge, so let's see if this is the device that brings me back to Android. So let's power it up, see if it has some juice. And it is juiced up. Powered by Knox, powered by Android. First thing I'm gonna probably disable that Knox feature at the beginning, cause I find it to be bloatware, and um, it drains your battery, but who knows. And of course, as you guys can see, this is a T-Mobile version. And dang, look at that display. That display is nice. <sighs> yeah, that display looks really, really crisp. So let's see what this, what this, what this startup process is like. So start English, yes. English, okay. Okay, start it. Insert SIM. You know you can make okay, that's fine. Uh let me put my Wi-Fi, but I'm not gonna put it so you guys can see it. Look at that guys. You guys can connect to that. You guys can barely see that. So I'm connected to the Wi-Fi. And this is the 5G one, so apparently it's faster, but who knows? Wi-Fi is on. The phone has 43% only. Dang. Uh, I don't want to provide. I don't like providing diagnostic data. I don't know why. And checking for updates. Almost forgot, guys, how to show you guys how to put the SIM card in, which was why I had this whole little thing here. Let me put this over here. In my little... Uh, thing so you got it right here Where is it right there? That's your uh, tray to put your sim in Get your little sim ejector tool that comes with the phone Get a nice Press in there make sure it pops out. Don't be scared guys I know some people are scared to take it out, but these things are pretty rigid. All right. Yeah, I got my T-Mobile sim right here uh, So what you can do is just Pop it in there It's in there then you have your micro SD card so you can expand it. I think it's up to expandable up to 400 gigs. So then as you guys can see, it says something about the SIM tray. So make sure it's firmly sealed and then add a notification saying that the SIM was not in there. And what you gotta do is straight down and press down firmly. Make sure it gets in there. And I haven't gotten the trick of this. Okay, so as you can see, it is gonna find the connection now. Hold on. Zoom, zoom, focus, 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 focus. Oh, sorry, that's my mom. Uh, all mark is red. And I mean, I guess with that, that me, my mom just sent me a message like a day ago, but I just got it in here. So I guess that the SIM card is working and now we have uh, the SIM in it. So that's how you put the SIM in it. Sorry guys, I almost forgot about that. So continue on with the video, Chris. Whoops. Messed up my password. In terms of accessibility though, I can, I feel like I can, I can hold the phone with one hand pretty comfortably. No backups found. That's fine. 
So, what the heck? I think this is I'm in Shanghai. Nope. Let's see. Mountain Standard Time. I am in the Pacific Daylight Time, and it is 5:56. Let me just double check that. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, and it is Saturday, March 17th. Nope, no, it's not. It is. See, this is all wrong. It's March. Oh shit! It is March 16th. What does it say? It said Saturday. I, I'm pretty sure it says Saturday, but whatever. Let's see. Set up intelligent scan. Set up face recognition. Set up iris scanner. Set up fingerprint scanner. Uh, I'll just put no thank you right now, and I'll make another video setting up that up. So that'll be like a separate lock screen slash uh, methods of unlocking your phone video, and that um, always on display how you can customize it. But I really don't need a pattern or a fingerprint because it's just me. Skip anyway. I don't like backing up. I don't like Google knowing where I'm at. Uh, no. And just, I like it bare bones. No, thank you. I don't need a Google Assistant. And updating. Uh, sign in. No, thank you. Can I skip this? Oh yeah, definitely. I'll sign up to Samsung Pay, but not right now, cause that's basically what I would use it for, just Samsung Pay. And that's about it. Cause everything else here doesn't really catch my attention, especially Bixby. So I'm gonna just skip that. Uh, I'm not gonna restore. I'm gonna start it off as a new device. And extend unused app. Check out useful fixtures on. Yeah, unused apps might use battery. Extend your battery life by automatically putting these apps that haven't been used for three days to sleep. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Secure stuff. Hmm, that seems fine. I like my font to be smart. So apply. And then get weather forecasts. Nah. I'll use a different uh, method of getting my weather. Oh, and I hate agreeing to this crap. Do I have to agree? Does it make me agree to mobile? I feel like I'm selling my soul away. Who the hell knows? I, I, who, I don't know who who actually reads all that, but if you guys do, you guys are amazing because that's a lot of reading, guys. So, overall, I like the feel in the hand. Galaxy S9 Plus feels really, really nice. Uh, I'll probably just make a nice uh, little, a nice little, what's it called? Wallpaper. Get some cool wallpapers looking, some Infinity Edge. I wanted to get the wallpaper that moves like... Oh no, disable Bixby. You can already feel the lag on that one. No, thank you. How do you disable Bixby? Okay, I'll, sh I'll show you guys in another video. But that is basically how you guys set up your... Your Galaxy S9 Plus or S8 Plus. Look at those fingerprints. I'm going to slap a case on that pretty soon. But yeah... Uh, overall, I like the feel. It's not even warm. I remember when I set up my Galaxy S7 Edge, the thing was on fire half the time. I felt like it was going to blow up. Because uh, it was just so dang hot. Whenever I would update anything, I remember once, and this is not even a lie, guys. This is a true story. I thought it was getting so hot that I put it in the freezer. Yes, the freezer. That was probably not such a bright idea on my part. But I left it in the freezer for about... No more than two minutes or something like that. Not, not gonna leave it in there for like two days or something. But I left it in the freezer, and I just thought it would it would help the phone cool down because that thing was like hot to the touch, like it would burn, burn your skin if you put it on too much. You would touch it for too long. But that's a story for another day, and that is my setup guy for the iPhone. No, whoops. 
Whoops, guys, that's my setup. Sorry, that's my setup guy for the S9 Plus and S9 because it works the same way. This is the Midnight Black Edition. Does it do something cool? I like looking at hard press or double tap to turn on. Hard press? Nothing? Okay, well, this video was just me showing you guys the setup process of the S9 Plus. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to comment, like, subscribe down below if you guys want to see some uh, videos with the S9 Plus. If you guys want to see certain apps being used. You guys want to see certain tests, certain uh, battles. I only have right now my iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 6 Plus. I can get an iPhone 6S Plus for a day. And an iPod Touch and an S7 Edge right now that I may sell within this week. But besides that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, please remember to comment down below. I'll try to answer them to my best of my ability. And without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for all the support. And remember, to guys, uh, be careful. Uh, a lot of crazy stuff going out there in the world. But just be careful, guys. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.